means gold star family, families who have sacrificed a loved one in service to this great country, and they must never be forgotten. Perrysburg Mayor Tom Mackin and Ohio Representative from Perrysburg, Haraz Gambari, are here with how you can help keep those men and women's dedication alive right here in our community, right? These are families who live with us, and they are carrying, you know, still grief, and this is, they've lost loved ones to help keep us free, right? It's a big deal. <laughs> so this is an opportunity for um, families from Northwest Ohio and Southeast Michigan and all across the country that may be traveling through our communities to stop here in Perrysburg and have a moment of reflection and give thanks for the service and the sacrifice of those that are no longer with us. Mm. So we want to build a monument, right? Uh, where are we in this process here? Well, the process is sort of the, uh, uh, Ms. Moore came with to us as the city administration and said, this is what we would like to do and presented there's been 59 of them around the country. She showed, she showed them to us, and the administration is happy to be part of this project. So they formed a committee, and the committee is made up of volunteers from within the community and around the region to help her get this started. So we've uh, looked at a location which is on Riverside Park in Perrysburg. Okay. It's a beautiful, beautiful location. Yeah. I drove by there this morning. Mm -hmm. It's very peaceful, very mm -hmm. tranquil. We hope that it's a place that will also allow people to come and uh, respect those that have fallen for this country mm -hmm. and their families and also make sure that there's some awareness because it's a place that people drive by so they will right. see it so right. we, we're very excited to be part of the process and you mentioned miss moore and there's also uh, we've done stories with her in the past uh, who lost her husband when she was pregnant with their son and uh, so this was a uh, 10, 10 or so years ago, but there are other families here in our area as well who lost loved ones. Folks in the Ross for like the Bell Coffers and the mm -hmm. Christophs and many others. You know, this, this program was the genesis of Herschel Woody Williams. Mm -hmm. He's the last living Medal of Honor recipient from the Battle of Iwo Jima. Mm -hmm. And Herschel's uh, vision is to have at least one of these in, in every state across the nation. Um, there are others already in Ohio, but again, this will be the first in Northwest Ohio mm -hmm. and Southeast Michigan. So this is not a Perrysburg specific <laughs> monument. Sure. This is just where it will Yeah, it be home. just happens to be. And as you mentioned, the location there right along the river, there are so many people who are coming through that area and some a lot of people enjoying, uh, as you said, the peacefulness there. Right, the it's area. a very, I mean, the spot that the, uh, committee has uh, picked out and, and the administration is happy to be working with them is uh, on the bluff overlooking the river and like this morning uh, nice sunrise mm -hmm. water is very calm mm -hmm. so we hope, hope that brings peace and tranquility to the families who hopefully will come and visit and to the children and their ancestors or their grandchildren and those people who will come but also to the community members who are going to walk down or just mm -hmm. be at the farmers market or some other event to come down and see that so we think that that's a great location and they might talk to their children right. and explain what this what this means and uh, we want the community here to get involved too to help uh, to get this going, right? So how can people give back and how can they participate in this? Well, one of the ways that uh, we're currently working on that is to raise the funds that are necessary mm -hmm. to build this very fitting tribute mm -hmm. to our fallen. Uh, so we're happy to share that information with you and maybe if, if you guys would like to link that on your website. Absolutely. We'll, we will provide a link and if folks would like to contribute that mm -hmm. way, that's definitely a one benefit that we are currently mm -hmm. seeking right now. Okay. Yeah, and you can also go to the city, has a Facebook page and the, and the link to the, uh, how you can donate and how you can contribute to buy a paver or a some paver, other right. some other things. So it's not, it's, there's large donations certainly. This is an expensive project that's mm -hmm. being raised all by private funds. Mm -hmm. But there's also small donations and any amount would be, mm -hmm. any amount that helps uh, preserve and make us remember mm -hmm. those that have fallen for this country is really something special. So you can get involved, uh, just get online, we'll send the link, we'll have it available for you if you want to make a donation. And you mentioned pavers, there's going to be some some brick uh, laid around yes, that it's monument. Gonna, there's a, you can have your name or right, family's name. Family's on name or somebody who who served in the military or somebody along those lines. So, so there's lots of opportunities to participate. Very good. We'll love to see it when it's done here too. Very thanks good. for having yeah, us. Thanks